Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Let's random Kane. That's a good start. Let's try not to force ourselves to become Blue Baby here. Had some interesting Isaac runs. Had a lot of runs recently. This is the way it feels to me, is that um, a lot of runs recently where I've made it to the late game bosses, but not a ton where I've actually beaten the late game bosses. It's been a little bit more 50-50 than usual. Usually it's like I die before mom's heart, or I end up beating the entire game, but it hasn't quite been that so far. We're gonna play as a Kane run. Um, I wanted to random because we've been playing with the D6 a lot lately, and we've been playing as Blue Baby a lot recently as well. Sometimes on purpose and sometimes by accident, as on that Kane run where we actually did win, where I picked up the Ankh and then became Blue Baby through an oversight of the damage from the curse rooms. That was a fun run. It actually, like, kind of wasn't a fun run, but it, when I, in hindsight, it's fun. It's like high school, right? When you look back on high school, you're like, hey, you know, that was a really good time. I'm nostalgic for it. But, you know, in the moment, not all of high school is great. In fact, for a lot of people, high school is pretty terrible. I didn't have a particularly bad or great high school career. But, you know, sometimes I'm like, man, I wish I was 17 again. And then I realize, you know, being an adult is actually pretty good. Whenever someone tells you, they're like, oh, I wish I could just be a kid again. Being an adult has too many responsibilities. You should think back, man. When you're 17, you know, you you may or may not have a car, but, but many people are unable to get uh, to where they want to go without their parents' help. That's kind of demoralizing sometimes. Not if you're like, you know, of this age. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just saying, here's how much better it gets. You, you, you forget about the things that are minor, but actually improve in your life. Get your own place or live with your friends. That's pretty awesome. You know, you have a, a party many times a week instead of just like once every couple of months. And we're, oh, what am I going to wear to the party? What am I going to wear to the party? It doesn't matter. The party's every night and it's in your basement, maybe. Um, you know, want to go to the store, buy something, go ahead. Want to buy pornography? Why? It's just free on the internet for, like, everybody. But if you want to, you can legally do it. You don't have to feel guilty when you click those you must be 18 years or older, uh, you know, things to get on a website anymore. You want to buy cigarettes? I wouldn't necessarily not advise it from a health standpoint, but that's your personal choice and right as an adult. Want to buy alcohol? It's delicious after a while, and it, it makes everything more fun. Um... That's not me saying, you know, no, that's me saying know your limit drink within, but still. Being an adult has uh, many perks. The Book of Sin is not necessarily one of them, although I guess I'm kind of pleased to have gotten an HP upgrade in the Book of Sin. That's like a, an objective upgrade over what Kane starts as. Anyway, I'm just saying, I hear people like they're adults, they're like, oh, I have to pay taxes. Yeah, paying taxes sucks pretty hard. When I was a kid, even like in university, I was making like no money doing my summer jobs, working 40 hours a week. And it was, I was privileged to even have those summer jobs, for sure. But as an adult, you know, there, there's positives and negatives, let's put it that way. You have real problems, but you also have a lot of real, uh, real, a lot of real privileges. Being an adult's not all cut and dry great, but certainly when I hear people say, oh, I want to be 14 again, I'm like, man, you should, like, I wish you could be 14 for a day and remember that being 14 is not necessarily so thrilling. And if you're 14 right now and you're living like Justin Bieber lifestyle, feel free to tell me to fuck off, because clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. I did decide to go to the library, and uh, my thinking in going to the library here was maybe we'd get something better than Book of Sin. But I don't know if Book of Shadows is it. But it could be it? I think you know what I'm getting at here, basically, is that there are some interesting applications of Book of Shadows, whereas if, if you think about... Uh, Book of Sin, it's gonna give us some items. It's gonna give us give us money, it's gonna give us bombs, keys, tarot cards, etc, etc. We can't really control what we get. Book of Shadows, on the other hand, if we come across blood banks, we can do some funky stuff there. Uh, we can use it on boss fights. It, it might end up being an item that I could actually see us using into the late game. And the reason, by the way, that I'm not using Book of Shadows on this boss fight is because, uh, you know, we might actually come across a Temperance card or something like that, and I would love to have my Book of Shadows card charged up. And also, not card, I guess, it's a book, yeah, as it kind of says in the name there. Also, I don't know if maybe you can use it on a deal with the devil to get items for free? We'll see. I thought that was something that used to exist but has since been patched out, but I suppose we'll find out. Um, Apart from that, you know, there's also the potential if we end up getting orbitals, especially something like Sacrificial Dagger, uh, then Book of Shadows becomes amazing because we give ourselves invincibility and then we, uh, you know, just run into the enemy. And the, the cooldown on this is super long, so it's really nice. Or not the cooldown, but the, the period that it's active is super long, which is really nice. So we're going to Book of Shadows. It doesn't work. But at least we know now that it doesn't work, so I won't be thinking about it for the rest of the video. We still got uh, another HP upgrade. We got one from the boss, but we got an Eternal Heart as well, which is nice. And uh, now we have the Pact as well, so our, our damage has improved as lo along with a, a few other attributes. I think this has been a very kind of casual, but a very good uh, run so far. Very comfortable is maybe the, the wording I want to go with there. There are two possible locations, it appears, for a secret room. 
One of them would be here, and the other one would be directly below us. We didn't find it on the first one. Please don't fuck me here, game. Okay, we did find it, and we got three cents. Two bombs for three cents is a shitty deal, but that's okay. We'll save our key for the next floor. Uh, we're not going to use it on the golden chest, and we're not going to use it on the shop here, obviously. But I'm pretty content with where we are here. Basically, on that floor, we gained zero HP, but we got the Pact and Book of Shadows, which I think is an okay deal, all things considered. Then, you know, there's a... the, uh... Curse room there, we can absolutely lose only half of a heart by going into that with the uh, Book of Shadows active. Which it will be fairly soon. Book of Shadows is once every three. I think it's once every three rooms you actually get to use it. So we might be able to use that in a second. Now, we do only have two keys. I'm tempted to go to the shop, of course, but I can't really uh, justify it with only seven cents and two keys. These keys will be better served on the item room, almost certainly. So we'll come in here. Oh shit! Okay. Life is good. We got Mom's Knife. I sh maybe should have used Book of... What I should have done? Book of Shadows, over top of the spikes, grab the penny. But this is the, that's a one penny difference, basically, in what, what would have changed. So, obviously, yes, I apologize for picking up Mom's Knife, but also, there's no way I'm not picking up Mom's Knife. We still have, are not in a one position yet, but that is a huge, you know, a gift from God. And you don't take that back to the store and say, this is not my size. You say, thank you for Mom's Knife, let's have some fun together. So we're still, you know, it's a big floor. We still got a number of things that we want to get sorted out here. I need uh, more HP at this point. It's not as dire as it could be because I have mom's knife now, but it's still important. I need to not hurt myself with these explosions. Uh, and if possible, I would absolutely love to be able to uh, get that chest, but it's not going to be possible. I'm just recouping my, my commentary muscle here. Now that I've gotten an item that usually makes the run substantially easier. You know what? This is a, actually a pretty nice change of pace. Because on a lot of runs recently, or at least it seemed this way, uh, we haven't gotten traditional items that allow victory to come very easily. Mom's Knife, Brimstone I guess is an exception, we've had Brimstone show up a couple of times now. Um, I really don't want to go to the library, I kind of think Book of Shadows is where we want to be with items right now. And Book of Revelations will be interesting, but not as exciting. Uh, two of Clubs is bomb, or yes, it is bomb, so we can just get two bombs right away. I don't know, we'll see if we get more keys on this floor. If I get more keys on this floor, I would love to use the two of clubs, find the secret room, and go to the shop. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's nice to just get an item kind of bequeathed to me right off the bat that uh, allows me to have a little bit more of a comfortable run. That's okay. Oop, okay. Almost took some damage there. Let's set our goal. Our goal for the, ne the rest of this run is not just to win, but is to never take damage again. I think that's realistic. We're going to get through the rest of the game. We're not going to get hit by any asshole hearts. We're not going to get hit by any asshole masks. We're not going to get hit by any assholes. Oh my god, okay. I've already bunged this up. Something fierce. And this is the... Now I become my own worst enemy. It's like that lit song. Uh, completely miserable. No, it's like that lit song, my own worst enemy. Uh, I and my own cockiness are what is standing in my way from having a great run right now. I should really be using Book of Shadows a lot more often. This pill could be amazing. Amazingly lucky. Well, you know, it actually sort of literally was, I guess. Luck upgrade. So people are always mad that I take toothpicks. I legitimately thought toothpicks actually did something. Apparently they don't. What they do here is make me feel a little bit less bad about using a key to get in here. I guess it's a shot speed up as opposed to a tears upgrade, but I guess with mom's knife, it's not really that much of a problem. So let's just continue moving onwards here. First item room, kind of a wash. Second item room should be you know, at some point in the near future available to me. Okay, that eternal heart is A, exceptionally lucky, and B, ex exceptionally tempting, but also I can't really get to it just yet. With two keys remaining, one of these is destined for the item room. The other one I would love to use in the shop, but I do need to get a little bit more money. There must be a lot of good stuff going on over here because uh, we have missed one item room and we haven't seen the boss room yet, so we've got to be coming close to the end, but additionally, we've got to be coming uh, close to some actual terminals here that are going to give me some value, or at least the possibility of some value. Okay, that third key is awesome. That opens up a number of possibilities for us as well. Speed plus range is uh, a nice thing to have. Mostly the speed, but sure. Uh, that golden key is coming just in time, I guess. Just in time for me to have wasted like three keys already on this floor. I don't know why my cat's freaking out. So he's mad because I took mom's knife, probably. Bloody Penny is great if we find an arcade. Which we don't, but we'll take Bloody Penny with us regardless. Okay, Ruka, it's okay, buddy. It's alright, come here. You can watch me play The Binding of Isaac if you want to. Fuck it, it's boring. 700 episodes? How could you? 
Anyway, uh, double boss fight. Really hoping that we get a uh, HP upgrade deal with the devil combination here. The ability to fly is one of the few things. Yeah, that was guaranteed to take damage, basically. Ability to fly is one of the few things that would actually uh, provide me with some very nice value right now. Meat is fantastic. Maybe the best HP upgrade in the game, minus all stats upgrades. And I, I don't know why I'm saving Book of Shadows when I should be using it, because I continue to take the dumbest fucking damage. This is the Gertie that never shoots. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Sure, we're, we're just going to use it. Just in time, right? I used uh, Book of Shadows just in time for it to be totally wasted. Well, we have golden keys, so at the very least, we should go to where we need to go. Uh, we should go to the shop. At this point, I can get three bombs out of the Two of Clubs card. We have a couple of golden chests that I can get to as well. We should go to the library, at least we can snag a spirit heart. And there is uh, an HP upgrade, or a, a blood, or sorry, an eternal heart available up here that I can get as well. And there it is. So we use the Two of Clubs. I should have looked for the secret at the same time. We open this up. Oh, we got a lot of good stuff out of there. Enough bombs to make the two of clubs substantially more useful. The eternal heart, which scares me a little bit in case I walk over spikes or encounter greed. Uh, but also, one more penny, which makes the shop totally viable. And again, we're not wasting keys at this point, so we might as well go through with it. If it's greed, I'm going to be not happy because I could lose this eternal heart, but that would be me being an idiot and almost deserving it. Almost. Uh, Book of Revelations is interesting, but I'm not gonna get it, and the reason I'm not gonna get it is because I think Book of Shadow plus Mom's Knife is a sweet combination, and if I take Book of Revelations in addition to what I've already got, uh, you know, it, it's basically not 100% a no-brainer victory, but it's pretty close. We're getting up to that point. Uh, it's another golden chest, we open that up, and the umbilical cord is god-awful. And we could use one bomb here, so we might as well use one bomb here. Maybe we'll get more keys, which is really what I would like. More money, that's actually useful as well. And more hearts that I could use uh, eventually. Telepathy for Dummies and Necronomicon, both of which are pretty bad. And I, th I say we leave this floor. I think we got what we came for on this floor. We got Mom's Knife, technically two HP upgrades, a range upgrade, tears upgrade, or well, the shot speed upgrade. And what did we get in the other item room? I've actually forgotten already. Whatever. Couldn't have been important, I guess. Uh, we, the meat upgrade is maybe the big one. But anyway, Caves XL, I'd say, turned out pretty well for us. And it's shaping up to be a very quick Isaac run. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but, you know, for better or worse, we're probably going to be either dead or uh, standing over the dead without too much time uh, elapsing between right now and when that moment will be. And, you know, I, I really... I struggle to find things to complain about here. It says a lot about my commentary that that's the number one thing on my mind. It's like, what do I not like about this run? I don't like that I've taken some seriously dumb damage. I already told you my New Year's resolution was never take damage in Isaac again. Maybe that was an unrealistic one. Uh, we'll pick this up, and we have our shop and our item room right around the corner. Lemon Mishap, obviously garbage, and, you know... Again, it's hard to feel bad, though, when I already have a half-decent spacebar item. Whatever. Bloody Penny is going to be very useful for us. I had a feeling we'd fight Greed. I have a feeling Greed is not going to last too much longer. He did manage to hit me, though, so more power to him there. I'm surprised we didn't get Bloody Penny to work for us. I really want an arcade. That's the one thing I can complain about. No arcade so far. What up with that? Now, remember, use Book of Shadows on any room that you find yourself uncomfortable on. See, that may or may not have saved me any damage, but it could reasonably have. Or reasonably speaking, that, that could have saved me a little bit of damage right there. Would have loved to have had one for this room as well. Can't always get what you want, though. It's okay. We took out this room the easiest way I think I've ever done it. I would love for this to be the lovers, or well, it can't really be the lovers. Full health is basically what I meant. Um, so that now we can do that. Oh, okay, this is going to be a tricky one. Yeah, I should probably have taken damage there. But I wanted to go through with this anyway. That extra key could be valuable. The extra bombs, it's basically like picking up four bombs, uh, because I will use this two of clubs card. And four bombs is a pretty sweet payout just for going into a mob trap room where I'm going to destroy all the enemies in one hit anyway. May still end up taking some damage. Shit happens. Zambies, no big deal. No need to use bombs against them when we already have the bomb in our hands. There we go. That probably just got me put on some NSA watch list. Okay, be careful. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Hey, we did it. That was uh, horrifying, but we got the job done. So we've already been to the shop in the item room on this floor. Uh, you know, pretty piss poor. Might as well use the shadows here. But so be it. You know, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. We already have some incredibly good upgrades, so it's not like I feel too, too bad about the way things are going. What are we missing? Compass is a big one. 
Ability to fly is another big one. Not necessarily bigger or smaller than the other one, but um, that's that's basically it. If we get compass and the ability to fly, then we can probably coast for the rest of the game. Uh, a space bar item that gave us spirit hearts or miter or relic might be okay as well. I don't think this room is worth uh, using the Book of Shadows on. I may use that Two of Clubs card pretty soon. Because I do want to get that nickel. I guess, you know, there's no point in really getting that nickel for one bomb when I already have Steam Sale and there's only one shop remaining anyway, so... And, you know, truth be told, I, I guess technically it would be two bombs unless I use Two of Clubs right now. It doesn't really matter. The longer we wait to use Two of Clubs, though, the better it will be for us, I suppose. We've got another bomb right there. Do we double and go to 22 bombs? Maybe we'll see what we got in here, because I do want to open that golden chest. Sure, you know what? Let's let's double up. 22 bombs. Should have looked for the secret room again. I'm playing very unideally. Let's put it that way. That was a waste of a bomb and a key. You're dead. This is a bit of, of a tricky room relative to the last heart room, but that's okay. You're also deceased. Red heart, that is actually nice, but I'd love to save uh, Book of Shadows to save me from... Actually, you know what? If it's only... Red hearts we're talking about. I don't really care if I lose half a red heart walking into this uh, curse room. Let's see what we got. Or one whole red heart, in fact. Because we'll just pick up this one, and uh, you know, I know that's unideal as well. We'll pick up that one too. And now we have Book of Shadows saved for the boss fight. And we already had, like, basically this exact room a little earlier. We will get the golden chest. Oh, okay. That costs us two bombs because I'm dumb. Don't accidentally get the tick. And a lot of money. That probably was not worth what I paid for it. But lots of red hearts in case I need them. Mask of Infamy, huh? Alright, so the way that we do this, I think, it's a champion Mask of Infamy, no less. Take out the heart. It shoots homing shots. That is a really dickish uh, Mask of Infamy uh, analog there. And then I just kind of, you know, hang out near the Mask of Infamy, and with Mom's knife, he should be dead, yeah, before he can really do anything. That was really good. Okay. We got a few luck upgrade pills, which I'm going to take, even though that's kind of dubious. Actually, we only had one. I thought we had two. We have a health upgrade pill. That's really nice. A speed upgrade pill. Adequate. And a tears upgrade pill. That was one of the best coin purses that a boy could ask for. We're on Necropolis 2. Quite frankly, I deserve to be on Necropolis 2. We're doing uh, quite a number on the game right now. And the fact that, like, I mean, I guess that's Kane, right? Of course we were only going to get good pills. Uh, but we got great pills there. Speed up and uh, HP up in particular are really nice. I don't know how luck up actually affects us. We just got a dime randomly on the ground. Here's how uh, here's how loaded we are right now. Let's see if we get some pennies in here. D20 could be interesting. In fact, maybe let's lose the Book of Shadows and we'll roll with the D20 instead because it could be fun. I'm going to re-roll this dime just because I'm a dick like that. No. Okay, that was a stupid decision in hindsight. Why would I re-roll a dime? Because we can, basically. It's like wiping your ass with $100 bills. You're either an idiot or you can afford to do it, so, you know, more power to you, I suppose. You're, you could be both, I guess, technically. You could have enough money and be an idiot still. Um, that's alright. So, we have two more keys. This is a library again. I'm not really feeling that. We might want to go to the shop instead and save a key for the future. This is why I'll never wipe my ass with $100 bills. I'm like, save a key for the future. Uh, as of right now, I'm thinking, like... The only reason I would go to the library is I'd basically be paying one key just for the privilege of seeing what's inside of it. I think there's still books remaining that I haven't picked up, so I don't think we're going to get, like, just items. Um, yeah. I, I think I would, it would just be to sate my curiosity, you know? Satisfy my curiosity, I guess. Okay, this is one of the rooms where the ability to fly would be a huge boon for us. There we go. Oh, that was really dumb of me. Losing Book of Shadows is the kind of change that has the potential to be kind of not so great. But I think we'll probably turn out for the best nonetheless. And we have uh, we could have used D20 there, but I'm not going to. The reason is, I really am holding out hope that there's going to be an arcade. And if there's an arcade, Bloody Penny plus uh, D20 creates a very nice situation for us to basically get whatever the fuck we want, as long as we wait long enough. If only I had, like, a nun's habit or something like that. But I could, because we have, uh, the Steam Sale. Oh, I have the Steam Sale and more than enough money to buy whatever I want from the shop to begin with. We'll see. If we get nun's habit, it will be, like, seriously balling out of control. If there's an arcade, which there is. That was kind of to be expected, given the amount of money we have. Come on, just make your way down here. There's also a curse room. Of course I'm gonna go to the curse room. This is shaping up to be an interesting run. At least a funny run. That's the way I see it anyway. Uh, I guess I should go to the shop first just to see if there is a nun's habit. We'll check out our curse room on the way. That is Guppy's tail. Absolutely, we'll pick that up. Why not, right? If we could become Guppy on this run, that would be hilarious as well. As of right now, we don't really have the keys necessary to 
you know, open all of the chests that we would get as a result of this, but whatever. Okay, more keys. Our shop contains the ladder, which I'll buy just because we're here. And I think I'll buy the key as well because, you know, more keys better. So, uh, let's go play this blood bank uh, with Bloody Penny and all the red hearts that we have. I fully expect to at least get the IV bag, maybe the blood bag if we get lucky. And we're not going to pick up... Uh, that's the thing, I guess, is I don't want to pick up any of the money because I want to reroll it all with the D20. Hmm. It's a, it's a little unfortunate, I guess. We're in a little bit of a catch-22 situation. Let's just let it go for a second. Okay, we're at half a heart. Let's get some of the pennies here. And it, the, the faster the, uh, that the payout happens here, either blood bag or IV bag, the, the quicker we'll be able to reroll. Because if we get the blood bag, then we get back to full health. Oh, no! That was a total accident. I'm actually, like, genuinely so sorry for that. That was, like, a one run, but at least you know, it ended in a funnier way than if I just, you know, won the run and steamrolled it. Oh, people are going to be so mad, but also that's kind of funny. My own hubris got the better of me. I was seriously, like, trying to navigate lower, but I just walked into the blood bank by accident and was killed by my own greed. Holy shit, I was fully expecting to be, like, whatever. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed my death. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to click the like button. It does help out a great deal and will remove my newfound sadness from me. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more Isaac. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.